So you've learned how to make basic shapes, you've learned how to make lines and make adjustments, you've learned how to set up your QCAD page, and now it's time to learn a little bit about some of the other finer tools that we can use to really bring everything together here in QCAD. Welcome to Capable of Many Things. Good morning. My name is James. Let's break right into some of these tools. So to get started, we need a couple of shapes. We're going to start manipulating these shapes, sort of cutting them up and um, really getting into the nitty gritty of it. All right. So let's start with a basic shape. We're going to start with a square. Now, one of the most common things that you would make, let's say, with a CNC plaid is a bracket. So let's start with a basic bracket and learn a couple of tools there. Um, we're going to make a, ah, all right, we're going to go ahead and make a two inch wide by four inch long bracket here. And I want to set this up at my bottom right. Again, I've set my width here. I've set my height here. I don't have any angle. Let's go ahead and remove that. And I've set it to the bottom right. Actually, for visual purposes, let's go bottom left. All right, so this is going to be the base of my bracket here. It's four inches long. Um, let's go ahead and uh, maybe change it up so that it's a bit more of a tab here. Um, all right, so we're going to go with a circle. I've selected the center diameter tool. All right, uh, that's definitely going to be way too big. Let's go ahead and select a two inch center diameter. Now you'll notice as I bring my mouse in over here, I have this little option for middle. So the software automatically recognizes when you put the shape that you're working with and the cursor in the middle of a line you've previously made. It, it recognizes that and it creates a great snap point. Uh, now we're going to set that there. And so we have that, we have that. Uh, let's recognize something here. Okay, uh, I have a, a bolt. I'm going to need a one inch bolt that I want to put through the center of that there and this is how I'm going to mount it to uh, one of my supports for instance and the rest of this is actually just going to sit here and actually get welded to whatever attachment points that I have there so there's there's going to be nothing down here okay perfect so I have just a really basic tab let's see what we can do to adjust it I have all of the shapes here if I were to send this over to some sort of cutting machine um, it's just going to end up cutting all of these lines individually. It's going to be an absolute mess. You, you can't have that. We need to remove some of these lines in order to get to the final form, the final shape that we need. Let's do that here with a special tool. So I'm going to right click here to get out of the circle tool. I'm going to right click again to change this menu on the left hand side. And I'm going to go to this little box here. This is called modification tools. There's a lot that you can do here and we're going to break into only a couple of them here and, and what I would call my standard tool for working within QCAD for this kind of design. And you'll, you'll come across this a lot. Um, here in the modification tools we have ways to rotate, we have ways to mirror, we have ways to scale and shrink to size. I prefer designing at size within the software, so I don't use the shrink feature options, uh, features op often, but um, they are there and we'll cover them in another video. <clears throat> we're, today we're going to use Breakout Segment. Breakout Segment's a tool that allows us to break out a line that crosses over two other lines or that crosses over a line on the side that we had, that we cross over you'll see that here as I've selected the tool I'll zoom in and I will select the line in the center now this line completely bisects or cuts through this circle but I will select here it will only cut out where it crosses over uh, where the line crosses over to uh, crosses over another line same thing if I were to work it here, one and two. And here, this lower half of the circle is intersecting with the line on the edge. We'll select that. And now we have a basic tab. Boom, done. Um, that was actually relatively simple. Uh, let's use one other tool here and uh, take these squared edges here and round them out. We're going to work on the. Uh, 
I believe this is the uh, the round tool here. Select this, and we're going to set a radius. I want to set a uh, half inch radius. Uh, that's a that's a nice uh, large round for given the scale of the shape. But we'll uh, we'll work with that. The radius tool works by selecting a line and then moving your mouse over to the line that you want it to round over to. So selecting this lower line here, I'll take my mouse and move it over this line. And you'll notice that it gives you a visual for where you're rounding out. OK. And if I were to bring it over to the right hand side, it's going to round out. If I bring it on the outside, it's going to round externally to it as opposed to internally. Same thing on this side, externally versus internally. So that mouse placement is going to be critical. This is where you're going to get finicky with the mouse. This is where you need to get comfortable with zooming in and out. So. We'll set this on the inside here, oh, and boom. Yeah, one more time, and over here, click. And now I have the tab that I want to make. That's great. OK. Uh, now that I have my tab, I'm going to need to do something that we haven't had to do yet in this series, which is save the shape. So this is something I'm going to export. This is something I'm going to save and bring over to whatever machine I'm, uh, or whatever processor post-processing system, cam system that I'm uh, using to uh, mate with my machine and make it. So we need to save it. Uh, in QCAD, the saving process is relatively simple. It's mo like most softwares. We go to File, we hit Save As or Save, and then we select the, uh, the name here. So we're going to go 2 by 4 inch uh, rounded tab. And it's going to save it as a DXF. This is a common file type when it comes to working with these kinds of systems. So there you go. And then we save it. And there she is. All done. All done. Completely saved. That being said, thanks for sticking around. If you want to learn something else, please uh, come on over to the next videos. And I'm going to redo this part because this part sucks. So, And we're done. That's it. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. We're going to do another video where we're going to make another type of bracket, but I think this is long enough for what we're doing here. If you have requests for any other videos, please see the link in the description. We have that available. Again, we do custom videos for people who are really interested in getting into something special. Uh, we also have a, a Patreon, a place where we post videos first, and we service those, uh, pr provide videos for those people who are subscribers, uh, and answer a lot of their questions because uh, you'll run into scenarios. Nope, we're gonna. And that's it. So take uh, no. And that's it. So and that's it. Thank you for coming along this little journey here. Nope, we're not doing that. And that's it. Now we have a complete piece ready, set, able to go to our system. In the next video, we're going to explore a little bit more about how to build shapes and a couple of other shapes that you can try out within QCAD, things that we've seen other people try, and show you the multiple ways to design what is essentially the same file and ways to get comfortable with that. That being said, thank you for joining along. Uh, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, all of the traditional youtube -y stuff as, uh, as it goes. and. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.